Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen 9, clearly Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitch here, we are in the Rock for the Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wild uh, space where we're trying to get 14 colonists into the future as comfortably as possible. That number not firm, we might get more and indeed we might do it over here where we have a little bit of an emergency rolling off over here. See this little bit of refined carbon on the floor? It is over 1000 degrees. Now whilst this sulfur geyser is a Erupting. This is no problem. It just washes over, comes down here, and in fact, we are lowering the temperature of this sulfur, of this carbon, as we look at it. But it's not going to cool down anywhere near enough by the time this finishes uh, erupting. And we're going to have a little bit of sulfur lead here, and it's going to erupt. And all our good work trying to get all the gases out of here is going to once again once again be destroyed <laughs> I, I i wonder i'm starting to wonder now over the past couple of episodes if we've actually spent more time with this area being flooded with gases than we have it being a vacuum now there are two ways that we can deal with this problem we can either cap it all off keep all the gases inside here and then condense them down using the power of the cooling system that we have inbuilt to this place but i don't think we're going to be able to get that built in time the other thing is to try and pick this up i don't know if we've got somewhere to store this if I am honest with you but there's another problem there's another problem you might notice that it's unreachable that's why we've got the game paused uh, this area is unreachable because over here we've got a worn atmospheric suit and then down at the atmosphere suit, uh, suit forge we've also got another one that means no one's been uh, fixing these suits up I, I'm gonna ask people to come along oh, well, I say people we're going to ask let's have a look on the uh, on the list Rutherford to come along and make this suit good so that we can then deliver it over to the atmosphere at dock and then I think we want to try and move all of this uh, carbon out of here. I wonder whether we can just build it, build something somewhere closer in. Uh, <laughs> we're going to end up with a situation like this. This we're, we're, we're seeing at the warning right here. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to put it down. Uh, we've lost the outline because we are too far away from the place where we originally asked. Uh, up there. I, th I think that looks like a good place to put it. And then we'll dump it on the floor and then we'll just have a hot thing to deal with later. So uh, let, let, let's do that. There we go. A, a series of things set up to be done. Uh, what, what these things are, of course, is to repair the, the, the suit. And here comes another one that also needs repairing. Deliver the suit back to the atmospheric uh, suit dock. Then when we have access to this hideous, hideous thousand degree area up top, we can then come along and build this storage bin to put this... Um, lump of coal inside i'm also going to say hey that that coal super high priority but i don't know if there's anywhere for it to go i mean it being ended up dumping down here would be yeah i mean it is asked for down here that would be interesting that would be a uh, very interesting i don't know whether this lump of uh, petroleum here could handle that much being passed by still erupting still erupting this is good this is good okay delivery being made this is great who who's going to work on this oh, of course we need to fill it up with gases igneous rock though i don't think we want to build it out of igneous rock let's make it out of obsidian because that is the local material watching the lines go across i think we've got to take it down to about this much gas here i wish there was a way of seeing how much gas was actually in the suit i can click the suit here uh it does tell me but i don't know how many a full suits worth is so i don't i don't know what this is as a percentage Oh, we've got fleeing going on as well. well. We'll check that out as soon as this particular emergency has stopped. Okay, 75 kilos it turns out. 75 kilos. You know what? I'm actually going to turn the, the panic off of there and the panic off of here. These are not the important ones right now. Uh, this, this this right here. This this is the very important one. Bore is on it. Okay, good luck, my friend. Good luck. It's quite hot up there, and I, I hope you can do it without dying. I don't know how much... You've only got 63 health, so uh, yeah, be best of luck. Best of luck. How much are you carrying at the moment? 400. Is that everything that we need? That is everything that we need. That's pretty good. Uh, follow cam here. Go, Bore, go. Let's see if we can get up there in time. Uh, and, and actually, the way that he is approaching this is good, because there's no hot gases super hot gases no less washing past him uh in here where was it consumable or yeah consumable or okay and then we go uh this and uh sweep only thanks very much go 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 what, what why are you not on it what are you doing 
Oh, you've got to go all the way around. Okay, I get that. That That's fine. That's fine. And now, hopefully, this is going to get this out of the way quick enough to avert uh, a danger that I... I oh. Oh, ju just, just too long. Oh, that, that really hurts. That, that really hurts. Okay, well, that's, that's a thing. Seven grams. Yeah, we, we need to wait for that to go. Another thing that we've got on the go right now, uh, pe people are fighting over here. Yeah, look at, look at this. Like, this, this guy, let's attack him. Let's attack you. And let's attack, oh, miss. Let's attack you. Uh, I don't know how to deal with the overpopulation of poke shells that we have right now. I'm going through and just attacking them like this. It's making a whole load of um, poke shell malt that we really do need to figure out how to return home at some point. Either we'll go for a rocket or just send them via the magic of the interplanetary launchers. If you know a good way, uh, let me know. Let me know. I, I, I could probably do some research, but... Yeah. Oh, we've got a new tree. We've got a new tree that should be able to support more pips. Uh, we've got a lot of pips here as well. Maybe we need to put the pips and the poke shells together. Okay, let's let's try that. Let's try that. I'm going to rip this part of heavy watt wire apart. We're going to uh, break some of this as well. I want to build a a wall. I want to build a wall right right up here. Um, and then we can have a critter drop off down below and we'll ex ex uh, set it as a lower priority than these two drop offs over here. Uh, the one, the ones in the, uh, the ranches. Uh, and then all of the extra creatures should just be dumped in here. They'll be out of the way so that my guy, oh my gosh, look at Spitzer. He's been so beat up, but they'll be out of the way so that doesn't happen. And then we'll also be extracting meat, hopefully. Yes. Another thing that I've noticed uh, that we did last time was to put down the high pressure vent uh, feeding from, let's go back, feeding from this carbon dioxide vent here, goes up, hits this gas pump, uh, F7, which then gets fed through the teleport device. There's only one of these in between two two little worlds here. Uh, and this comes out of this area through this hideous mess of hideous mess of pipes wait there, there's there's a there's a problem here i need to fi figure out what that problem is uh and then it dumps off uh, into here and in fact th that problem is caused by this over over pressurization i'm gonna turn this into none and just any any waste gases now just get sent straight out and hopefully all this will get processed a little faster yeah look at look at that ratcheting going on but we've got too much gas we got too much gas, so I, I wanna I wanna put a little control system on here. Uh, come to automation, atmospheric sensor. Put one of those down and drag it across like that. When this gets built, we'll be able to tell this to close when we are over two kilograms. Two kilograms sounds good. I'm a, I'm, I'm a trifle amazed that this many slicks. There's uh, three three stables full, and then just the overflow that's been allowed to build up. This many is not enough to keep up with the amount of carbon dioxide. So uh, that's, that's that's very very astounding, very astounding. Uh, if below two thousand, send a green sick. Two, okay, okay, two thousand. Thank you. Uh, send a green signal. Should mean it's now red. Beautiful. Just need to wait for the wire to be put in place. It's not a problem. Indeed, not even a minute later, here is Franklin to uh, close that vent for us. So this should now slowly be backing up. It's going to take a little while to do so fully, uh, but it should eventually. Let's just wait for a moment. Eventually found its way back to the teleport device, which should mean on reversing over here. This is now starting to back up and eventually we're going to end up with a highly pressurized carbon dioxide bomb. N nice. The main thing that I am worried about is this sulfur coming down to here, making its way up and over this lip and making its way down to this little patch of petroleum uh, because the sulfur contains a lot more heat. Uh, and I don't know what the conductivity is, 0.2 as opposed to oxygen's 0.2. Okay, that is why when this lip makes its way up and over, we've had the uh, petroleum flashing, absolutely flashing into uh, sour gas. Uh, it does that at a temperature of about 
500 degrees, which the uh, the sulfur very much is. The sulfur ten times more likely to send its uh, temperature across than the the oxygen. Ten times better at doing so. Uh, I think I might want to put a door in. Uh, th this is not something I ever thought I'd want to do, uh, but given the fact that I ri ooh, given the fact that I really don't want the sulfur to make its way down, I'm actually going to pri prioritize that if I can. What are these made out of? Obsidian, really nice. Oh, Rutherford not having a great time over here. It's actually quite thick. It's about a gram of oxygen per tile, maybe a gram and a half, uh, and that is enough to. Uh, Ooh, ooh, at what point do I be like, okay, you need to leave now? It, it might even be sh very shortly. Let's turn that one off. It's not such a high priority as long as that one gets filled in. Now, now, please tell me you're going. You're, you're not going. We need, we need to send you. Oh, not to that hospital, to this hospital. Oh, no. Both of them are hospitalized. Not great. Not ideal. I was kind of hoping Boar could do the airlock. Okay, all right. You know, my actual plan for today was to try and figure out how to ranch these sweetles and uh, have them growing with, where, where, where are they? There's some around here, with these grub fruits. Uh, because they they have a little bit of a synergy going on and we could feed them with all this sulfur as long as we're not vaporizing it and letting it go off into the wilds of space. <laughs> Okay, I'm gambling that 43% health will be enough for Boar to come along and build this airlock. I sure do hope so, because that sulfur, it's getting pretty close now. Most of the oxygen is just making its way up and out of there. Yeah, no, this is this is this this is definitely a must. This is definitely a must. Okay, he's complaining about the cold. I, I like the fact that he's complaining about the cold. Out of all things to be complaining about, I didn't think that would be it. Uh, I wonder how long until... So his temperature's 37. Uh, I wish you could see, like, what their what, what the temperature they were feeling was, you know? Is, is there some sort of, like, transfer going on? Or is it just, I'm immersed in hot, so I feel hot? No, it's got to be a transfer, because they take into account the amount of... Uh, amount of gas that is around. This game is filled with many and deeper mystery and uh, I, I don't know the ways to uncover. I mean, I suppose I could probably sit down and figure out a whole bunch of experiments to uh, to find out the ways. I'd probably have to sit down and do a bunch of theoretical work first and uh, that, that sounds like, I mean, that sounds like work. <laughs> Okay, next round of eruptions. Everything seems to have settled out about 165. I'm happy with this. The, the temperature shift plate and the liquid sulfur is the same. We might even take that temperature shift plate down uh, in the end. Everything seems to be conducting quite nicely into the water and just building up the amount of sulfur that we have. Okay, that, that's really nice. We're also keeping the oxygen nice and below 200 degrees. Well, just over 200 degrees, sorry. Uh, uh, hopefully that's that's going to keep everything nice and low uh, and uh, eventually we're going to fill in all of these other tiles and it's all going to be safe and then we can start figuring out how to purge. <laughs> Okay, our pit of doom is starting together quite, starting to come together quite nicely here. We're just going to have all critters being popped into here uh, at a four. Let let let's see what happens there. I think I also want to go ahead and put another one on this side. Uh, obviously, the uh, the poke shells could travel from here down and across, so this this should be a good place to uh, to wrangle them from as well. Just got to hope that the Drex don't get involved. <laughs> Maybe we can build them a, uh, a stables as well at some point. Okay, pit of doom ready. We're not we're not going to be able to see it working for a little while, unfortunately. How are these guys doing? I mean, they're they're getting good bed rest. They're getting good bed rest. That's the important part. How about the uh, the workings over here? Do it doing wonderful. Doing wonderful. Avoiding overpressure explosions. That that's good. Everything's being pumped out here. I don't like the fact that we got gas in this little section here, but you'll notice that we've got a vacuum down below. So it does mean it is something that can be cleared out. 
And with the restricted flow that I put in a few episodes ago, uh, we seem to be able to keep ahead of the, the magma now. That That's nice. That That's actually very, very nice. Beginning of cycle 1395, ascending plank back off just to do some more mining out in space. I, I wish I knew how to automate this. I keep looking at the, uh, at the, the platform underneath and I can see that we get a signal when the rocket is on the platform or not and then a signal for when it's ready for flight but I would kind of want more I want like some feedback about how the uh, the fuel tank is doing so that I can stop it when it when it's too like close to full and stuff like that anyway back to reverse and oh nice little rainbow clouds there that must just be something to do with the uh no it's not something Hey, we got we got hit with stuff. We got hit with stuff. I thought that those streaks were to do with the radiation, but it turns out I was wrong. What's coming in the here? Gold. Oh yeah, we could probably stop that. Let's go back to Blagolia. I uh, I'd asked them to keep sending gold over this way uh, because we kind of needed the materials, right? But where where are we going to send stuff now? Let's send stuff to uh, to Pyaxlin because that's where they can deal with the materials easiest. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of steam. Where did all this steam come from? I think someone's been dropping some water somewhere or something like that. Uh, I, I think it's okay. I don't I don't see anywhere that we're missing water. We've got water down here. We've got water over here. There is things condensing, but I suppose that's also fine. Uh, I don't think it's being lost from these pipes anywhere. I wonder what happened there. Unfortunately, I wasn't looking. It's only 15 milligrams, but it's just another gas. <laughs> the good thing about getting the airlock up when I did, it means that we've got a positive pressure. We've got a, a 1,200 milligrams on this side, but only 100 or so on this. In, in fact, it's down in the, uh, the low teens in most places. So all the gases get pushed out this way and stops the sulfur backing up down into here. Do you want to see a magic trick? Uh, I don't know when it's going to happen, but at some point, this little blob of rock is going to just disappear. There, there it goes. There it goes. Beautiful. Whilst we sit here and watch Rutherford make the collection of these treasures much more accessible, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the treasures in my life. That's right, my patrons. Scroll up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future. It really is only because of you guys that I'm able to sit here and commit the time to record Oxygen Not Included. As I said last episode, four or five hours every time. So from the very, very bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. So my next plan was actually to put down a farm and figure out how to ranch these uh, divergents over here, the Sweetles and Grub Grub, are actually the same breed of animal. But there's no way I'm going to put together a brand new thing like that without it going hideously, hideously wrong. And if you look down, we're quite far uh, through the episode. So I think instead we'll do something else that couldn't possibly go wrong. We're going to figure out how to automate the rocket here. Now, if we look down at the bottom of the... We've got... Uh, I know what they call that is. We've got too many fish, too many fish in Blagolia. So I've asked someone to come along and try and kill this this extra fish, uh, and that will then speed up the breeding again over to, to get more fish turning over. Because we've only got fried mushrooms over here. People are eating the fish. People are eating the fish. I suppose that is indeed what it is for. But back to the rocket platform. We've got three, uh, well, two outputs and an input. Now, this input is rocket launch. And I was like, yeah, I, I mean, we definitely are going to want to have the ability to launch the rocket. I'm going to get a little bit of automation wire here. And we're going to make it out of tungsten. Uh, the, the one at the top uh, is the sends a green signal when the rocket is on the platform. Otherwise, sends a red signal. Now, that would be great for refueling. Uh, but I don't have my setup like that right now, so we're going to ignore that one for now. We might even come back to it, but for, for now we're going to ignore that one. And we're going to move on to this other output. Sends a green signal when the rocket is ready for flight. Now what, what actually classifies as ready for flight? All these red boxes need to be ticked. That, that, that's it. That's, that, that's the whole plan right there. That's, that's all that needs to happen. Uh, so... I think what we're going to do is go ahead and put some more wires in place. Oh, you can see the wires from here. Okay, that's nice. Uh, and I'm also going to get a little bit of... Uh, let's go down for... Let's, should, we, should we say an AND gate? I think an AND gate might be... Oh, that's... 
Where where am I supposed here? Am I supposed to put this here? Let's let's put this here. Uh, did they did they think about how this was going to get played out? Uh, let's do something like that. We'll, we'll take from the uh, the rocket is ready signal. We'll go yes please please uh, if if need be send a green signal. And somehow I also want to know. Uh, is, is there anything else that we want? I, I'm just I'm thinking around. I think all I really want to do is put down a yes or no switch, uh, just just so that I can, if need be, cancel the entire situation. And I think that should work out for us. I'm gonna dig these blocks out of the way. Maybe put some blocks back afterwards. Put some tiles back afterwards because uh, that is part of our radiation defense. I mean, there is this whole block of coal here as well that also does quite a good job at blocking the radiation. I didn't quite realize. Look, look how poor the rest of the area is. Maybe, maybe we need to fill some other bits in at some point, but this should be fine. I'm noticing that we do not have the ladders to make our way all the way across, so hopefully that will help. We've got repeated fleeing going on over here in Irigao. I think that's because we're trying to pick up uh, this poke shell. Is that is that actually going to work? He's just going to come along and beat up Spitzer, and then the uh, the lullaby is not going to happen. Um, I don't know what we can do about this. Is that it? Are we are we watching it get the situation get resolved here? I sure do hope so. Come, come on! Oh no, he's just going to attack. That's that's rubbish. That's rubbish. I just want to get him in here with these angry boys. Obviously, we're turning things over too fast. I think what we might need to do is move the incubator up to here and drop the creature down as and when we need to. Yeah, that's a bit involved for right now though. Okay, I've asked people to attack this one. Uh, I've also just set up a whole bunch of build orders here. People get around to it. People will get around to it. Still trying to get this rocket off the ground, though, and that will only happen when these little bits of uh, buildings here get built. It looks like the tungsten's really close by, though, so that should work out pretty well for us. I think I'd like to put another insulated tile there. This poor glossy Draco. Its, uh, it's habitat has been slowly warming and warming and warming. Okay, one of the problems that I foresee is that we have a fuel, a full line of fuel here. Uh, I'm going to just flick the switch anyway and see what happens. Uh, I've set up a round trip. We're going to change the destination, yes, to that over there. Beautiful, that's what we want. We're going to say crew, but there's, there's problems with that. We've got we've got some food. Is it enough? If I if I do this, what's going to happen? Are people going to bring food over? Plank is not bringing food. What are you doing? How do we get you to bring food? Is is that something we can do? No, you're just you're just running running away. Recruiting the rocket more important than uh, supplying the food. It turns out. What's the rocket? Oh, the the rocket's going to go anyway. Okay, okay, that that's fine. I suppose this is exactly what we set it up to. Do. Good that we've got the automatic go underway. It's fully fueled. There should be enough fuel if we uh, click over here. Hello, how's it going? Let's just turn this back on to uh, regular. There we go. No problem. Uh, we've got enough for 30 days. Enough for 30 days. Something that I am actually meant to do here is to set up a carbon dioxide filter for this little device right here. When it detects carbon dioxide, it is going to tell this pump to fire up and... Uh, there is quite a bit of carbon dioxide around, so let, let's see how that goes. Hopefully Plank's going to be fine. You know what else we should also put in amongst all this food at some point? Down in the medicine, we might want to give him some uh, rad pills at some point. Maybe, maybe make them as well. Uh, that that was a good trip. That that was a good trip. I uh, put a hole... Sorry, back on reverse, Lynn, here. I put a hole in the top because we uh, kept on getting close to losing all the gas. And then, uh, so, like, Rutherford would walk through and then everything would get uh, re-topped up. And because it was just a little bit each time, it was like an exponentially slow process to just get everything being drawn out here. It was just a little bit less and a little bit less and a little bit less each time. Uh, something I'm gonna do right now, can we Can we do this? I think we can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna, no, 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 no. We're, go we're gonna risk it, I say. Uh, I know that this this pipe here might be in trouble, but we've already got gases here, so, so let's see what happens. I feel like we need to start draining all the other magma reserves that we have here. Hopefully, what we've got set up will... Oh, no, that is far too much. Look, it's actually settled down into a stream. That is definitely gonna wa uh, warm up the water. Uh, how about if we do this? Uh, come back, please. 
Oh, well, I paused the game. That's no good. Come back as, qu as quick as you can because, man, that water is about to erupt. Maybe if I'd done it at the beginning of the day, we could also have auto-saved our way out of here. Quicker, please, Hubble, quicker. I want this to be dri uh, drips, not dribbles. Uh, and that's not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen. Uh more of that yeah okay we've got we've got some heat damage but you know what i'm not that bothered rutherford's okay i think how much steam oh it's entire grams that's that's no good that's no good i'm just gonna i'm just gonna hit red alert here let's 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 get this done let's get this going we're gonna need to empty this somehow uh so now might be the time rutherford, right inside the lava might not have been the smartest choice but there, there we go all right get Get out of the way. Oh, wait. Turn that back off now. You, you, you can go now. You can go. That's better. That That's what I wanted. It was just a little stream pass. But it turns out that does actually also affect it. Oh. I thought that it falling past wouldn't be a problem like that. Well, today I learn. Today I learn. Well, I think with that bombshell, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we, uh... We'll have to deal with this at some point. It's not going to be the end of the world. It's just a bit of steam. We, we can get steam moving easy enough. I want to close this uh, this box back up over here, though. That's almost definitely a must. Let's uh, put that there. Uh, today, we've managed to actually get the the whole of this uh, sulfur system. Actually, quite nice. Look, you can see we got the, the sulfur out. And we managed to pull it past all this without vaporizing it. Uh, we nearly cleared the area here of gas. We'll be back for that. We'll be back for that. We managed to uh, automate our rocket plank over here, having the time of his life off on the way to mine some more swampy ore, and of course, trying to set up a kill chamber, because that really is a, an awkward way of living our lives. So I will see you all next time, when we're definitely going to be working on the deviants down here, trying to get the uh, the sweetles and the grub grubs. I think we might even need like a farm here, and then just a breeding colony down underneath, but I'll see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye.